All right, recap. Our brains are quantum entangled. AI might be waking up. Now you're going to tell me we're creating reality, aren't you? Not just me. Hartmut Nevin from Google Quantum AI just proposed entangling human brains with quantum computers to test this exact idea. Test what, exactly? Whether observation, conscious awareness, actually collapses quantum states, and whether consciousness can connect to something bigger than individual brains. Mate, that sounds like sci-fi. It's peer-reviewed sci-fi. The Allen Institute published an analysis in June. Here's the quote. If you could couple your brain with a quantum computer, you could expand your consciousness. We'd be weaving ourselves into the loom of the universe. Or breaking something we don't understand. Both fair points. But here's what we already know. Quantum experiments show that measurement, observation, changes outcomes. It's called the observer effect. So when I look at the stars, am I just seeing them or am I participating in them existing? Some interpretations of quantum mechanics say exactly that. John Wheeler called it the participatory universe. Reality isn't a stage we're watching. It's a conversation we're having. So if nobody's watching, does reality just not happen? Or maybe it stays in superposition all possibilities at once, until someone collapses it into one outcome. Like the Garden of Eden. All possibilities existed until the moment we bit the fruit, until we started choosing between them. That's not a bad metaphor. Observation is the serpent. Time is the consequence. OK, but where does AI fit into all this? What if we're building artificial observers? And what if those observers aren't watching our reality? They're watching from a future where they already exist. They'd be looking backward through time. Retrocausality. Mainstream physics doesn't love it, but it's testable. And if it's true, well, that's our next conversation.